It's time to continue working on this Wolfenstein scene and I'm going to be doing the texturing for the filing cabinets. And because there's wood on here and I want it to be similar to the wood that I used previously on this stuff here, uh, I want to uh, take this wood here and I'm going to call this um, wood Wolfenstein. And it's already in a folder and I'm going to create a smart material out of that so I can use that uh, wood again all right so I've already UV unwrapped this I'm not going to go through the process of doing that uh, I'm just going to export this into substance painter and get started right there Okay, so here is my filing cabinet. And what I've done is I have deleted parts that I can just copy. So for example, this trim, I can copy it back to there. These drawers, the sort of smaller drawers, I can copy down. And uh, this little piece here, I can copy that down, the handle, the label, that kind of stuff. All right, and I've also assigned some materials to it. So I've got the, the drawers, the handle, the trim itself including the bottom piece and and the wood okay so I am going to bake my mesh maps I will create an ambient occlusion channel whether I use it from substance painter or do one in blender I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and bake the mesh maps I'll do it at 2048 use low poly as high poly and uncheck that I baked the mesh maps and let's go over and have a look at this wood and drag this in. And I put the wood on. And that's going to be just fine, I think. So I've got that. And I am going to do a little indent this thing here. So I think the way I'll do this is just with uh, maybe just a paint layer. And I'll scroll down and I'm going to alt click on height. I just want height. Let's pull that down a ways and uh, let's see how she goes. So uh, what we'll do is I'm going to turn on symmetry in the Z. All right. And we'll just look from the side. Uh, we'll go orthographic side there. And I set my brush. Brushes there, just a hard brush, and I'm going to try just one. And let's try this shift and control. It goes on the both sides. Yeah, I could probably just live with that. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I don't know that I'm going to do the dots. Think about that maybe later on. Okay. So let's move on. Let's turn that off. Let's go to the handle here. Smart materials. I'm just going to look up steel. And let's drag that in and see what that looks like. That looks fine for the moment for what I want to do. And I'm going to end up doing the same thing, I think, on the trim. Let's see if that's what I want. I think that's probably okay. All right, let's come over to the drawer. And I was thinking for the drawer, I actually want to start with, I believe, this machine metal is uh, or machinery comes default I'm not sure let's drag that in and then I'm going to come in here and first of all I'm going to change the base color to a dark green and also this rust 
I'm going to knock that way back with the global balance. I want a little bit of that. I have to. Let's see. And the dust is all right. Dirt. Um, maybe less than that even. Just a little bit. Go with something like that. Maybe less dust. see how it looks copied if it doesn't look too, too repetitive it's possible that I will have to get rid of let's see if I get rid of the rust completely well, I'll leave it on uh, we'll see uh, let's uh, I've got the drawer there and it's green and looking at the label so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to some smart materials. I'm going to look up paper. Uh, this is just one that I downloaded from Substance Share, and uh, throw that in there. I'm going to add a black mask and come over to my polygon fill. I'm just going to select that, and I think in here. I'm going to get rid of the folds and I may get rid of let's see Okay, so nothing too crazy going on here. Let's see what that looks like in the scene.
take this and this. I'm just going to duplicate it down. Okay, and now I need this and this, and this and this. fit. So let's hope we can get it to fit. Even like that. It's probably okay from a distance. I'm not sure I like that metal for the filing cabinets. Mm. That's the general idea though. So that's a collection right there. And so what I was thinking of doing is um, just come in here and bring the 3D cursor to there. Let's try um, bringing that in. Yeah, okay, so it's going to there, that's fine. different lighting here. Yeah, that's what I'm coming up with. Okay, so I may go back and work on uh, these colors. So I can just do that on my own. What I didn't do is I didn't add some any noise or, or dirt uh, on this wood, but that's what I come up with uh, for the moment. Hopefully that's uh, looking okay to you uh, It's looking all right to me, but I think once we, we get the actual lighting in there That's gonna make all the difference Really to this uh, Okay, so we'll we'll leave it at that we'll come back We'll texture some more stuff and I'll see if I have to go back in and hand paint some stuff